If you're a regular viewer of GCN videos, you've probably seen a few of our Mechanical Mondays, and we shoot them here in Milton Keynes, which is the base of Madison, a distribution centre. And you might have noticed a whole array of very complicated tools and specialist tools behind me as I do the different how-to videos. But in this video, we're going to talk you through some of the more basic tools if you're just getting into cycling, the ones that are most essential. So we're going to start with a pump. Probably the most essential thing for any cyclist. This is a what is known as a track pump. It's got a gauge at the bottom so that you can tell exactly what pressure your tyres are at, either in bar or PSI. And those, of course, are used for mountain bike and road in the tubes. You get pressed and Schrader valves, and if you get a good quality pump, it'll be able to fit both of them. The next thing is a good set of Allen keys. One like this that goes from two millimetres up to 10 is gonna cover pretty much all your needs on almost all bikes. These days, it's very rare to actually have to use a wrench or spanner on any of the bolts on a modern bike. It is worth spending a little bit more money and getting a good quality set of Allen keys because the metal that they're built with is going to be better quality and there's less chance of rounding out any of the bolts on your bike. A standard puncture repair kit is also a great thing to have both on the trail side and also at home for fixing any punctured inner tubes and likewise a good quality chain tool can get you out of trouble if you snap your chain out riding but also at home if you want to replace a chain which you should do fairly often if you're riding your bike quite a lot. Next up is a set of good quality cable cutters. Now you might think I can use pliers to cut off the cables and that is true to a certain extent on inner cables but if you're replacing outer cables and having to cut them to length this really is quite an essential tool. Now the next tool on our list is something that's not that common even amongst experienced cyclist toolboxes and it's a torque wrench. You'll find that most bolts on bikes these days have got a range in which you have to do the bolts up to in terms of newton meters and this torque wrench will make sure that you get them tightened up within that range and that's important because it's very easy to over tighten them and they could snap on the spot or even worse they might give way on you whilst you're out riding so having one of these might not only save your skin but it'll also mean that you don't invalidate the warranty of many of your parts. One like this which is quite small along with the allen key fittings will suffice for most bolts on modern bikes. Next up we've got a screwdriver which of course you'll find in most common toolboxes that are non-bike specialist. On a bike though this can be used to fine tune your brakes and also the front and rear mechs where you can adjust the stops. Normally it's a Phillips or crosshead screwdriver that you'll need but you can occasionally get away with a flat headed one. Okay, the next tool that we've got is a spoke key. Now these come in various sizes depending on the size of the nipples, which are the parts right next to the rim. And this can be used to true up your wheel, especially if you're out on the trail, if you ding it and it comes out of true and it's rubbing on the brakes or even the frame, this can get you out of some trouble and at least get you home, even if you need to replace the rim there. And if you're at home and you've got a wheel out of true, if you're an expert at doing it, you can get it fairly true again using one of these. The last thing on our list is a pedal spanner. Now you'll find that most pedals these days use an allen key fitting on the inside but there are still some which use a 15 millimeter spanner on the outside of the pedal. This is probably the proper tool to do it with. Sometimes you can get away with a normal wrench or spanner but sometimes you'll also find that this bit is too thick to go between the pedal and the crank. So if you're going to buy one make sure it's one of these. We wouldn't personally recommend using a multi-tool for bike repairs at home but they are the most convenient thing to put in your back pocket for emergency on the road repairs. You can get more specialist tools of course to add to your toolbox, things like taking the bottom bracket off, cassette removal tool, or even a wheel chewing stand if that's what you want to do. But if you want to see what some of these more basic tools are used for on the bike, then check out some of our how-to videos, which we've already done. Basically elbow grease. We are gradually able to move the seat post. So we're just gonna do it for another half an hour.